Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and um, I want to kind of do a little update. I haven't talked about this in a long time, and it is about how Windows 10 uses RAM or the random access memory that your PC has. RAM is used, and you want it to be used as much as possible because it's the fastest thing in your PC. And by having RAM used, it means your PC should actually be running faster. There's a lot of concern when people come to um, Windows 10 and they look at the RAM usage and they say, well, you know, my PC is using 75% of the RAM. There's a problem. Something's wrong. It's not wrong because Windows 10 has a new way to manage the memory of the computer you're using. So if you right click on the taskbar at the bottom of your windows and go to the task manager in here you will go into performance and in the performance you will actually look at memory and look at how much memory your system is using so on this system that right now has eight gigabytes uh, but will be upgraded to 32 gigabytes at some point the RAM usage that you see here is, you know, 51% right now, and I'm not doing anything except doing a screen recording pretty much. And a lot of people are still on the impression that you want to use, you know, as little memory as possible, which is a totally false way of thinking. Windows 10 wants to use the maximum amount of memory because it makes Windows and the programs you're going to use much faster there is no set uh, amount of memory that is good or or bad it doesn't work like that and when you use memory optimizers to actually remove uh, threads remove apps remove anything that it stayed in RAM you're actually uh, counterproductive you're actually slowing down your PC RAM optimizers existed and still exist today for one simple thing PCs that have too low amount of RAM when there's not enough memory in your computer sometimes using an optimizer might have helped in some cases but in reality they are useless pieces of software in general and what you need to do if your computer is running slow because it's using too much RAM is that you want to have more RAM. You don't want to remove what RAM is being used. You don't want to remove the amount of RAM uh, used because it slows down the PC. You want to add RAM. That's the way it works. So there's nothing wrong in your computer using more memory. It's actually a good thing and that's what you want. If it does become a little slow because at some point it is, um, you know, sluggish because it doesn't have enough resources, well, then adding RAM is the solution, not installing optimizers. As of 2020, what is the amount of RAM that should be on a PC? A lot of PCs are sold today with 8 gigabytes because RAM is a little expensive right now. And so to lower the price point, they will give 8 gigabytes. For an average user that doesn't do much except going on the internet and uh, watching YouTube videos and stuff like that, it probably is fine because 8 gigabytes is, for somebody that doesn't use much as a computer, uh, quite a lot of RAM, actually. If you do a lot more, if you, you know dabble with big files and use a lot of apps open at the same time and you do like you know you have multiple windows open and do a lot of things together then I would suggest today that a PC should have you know for safety purposes of having enough uh, 16 gig gigabytes of RAM is probably the ideal solution for most users uh, if you do multiple um, you know, Windows, if you use several things at the same time in the PC and do some, um, you know, not just multitasking, but have some big applications that are open, 16 gigabytes is going to be uh, better. It's going to make sure that your PC has doesn't run out of, of memory and slow down. 
and it will be fine for the majority of users probably. And, you know, there are, of course, gamers. If you're a gamer, well, having a lot of RAM is nice because games can expand and use a lot of that RAM to make the games faster because it's not just a question of the GPU or the graphics processor. It's also a question of, um, you know, having as much uh, of a game or a program in RAM to make it as fast as possible. So, like I said, you want to reuse RAM and there are no uh, amount of RAM that is wrong. When I see somebody say, well, you know, Windows uses 80% of it, it's bloated. It's not bloated. There's a very different way RAM is being used in Windows 10 than it was in Windows 7. Windows 7 was actually crappy in the way it managed the RAM, uh, the random access memory usage. Windows 10 is super efficient at doing that. And that is why more RAM is used. It's not because it's bigger. It's because it knows you need to use the RAM memory to make the PC as fast as possible. And that's a very different way of thinking. Unfortunately, a lot of people are still on the impression that you want to use, you know, that, that software and programs need to use as little RAM as possible, uh, which is not the case. It's the other way around. And uh, like I said, if you have eight gigabytes and you don't do much except go on the internet and, you know, look at YouTube videos and do email and that's pretty much it, eight gigabytes is fine. 16, if you're more of a power user, you know, multiple windows open of different apps, multitasking all the time, sometimes maybe using some bigger apps that do a lot of stuff. Well, 16 gigabytes is probably the perfect price point, I would say. And, um, of course, power users, 32 gigabytes. One thing that I will uh, note here, because there are people that, you know, want to have 64 gigs or whatever. Remember that unless you do some really huge applications, you know, and and uh, do some really, really heavy multitasking, beyond 32 gigabytes is pretty much useless, as it will never be really used. And there's even a problem in the way that the computers actually use RAM in hardware when you, there's a, a, a point where having too much RAM actually makes the computer slower uh, because of the way that it needs to manage it. So uh, for most people, 32 will be pretty much a max. Uh, but of course, there are some really heavy power users that might benefit from more depending on what they do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.